President Donald Trump has certainly made a splash in politics these days. Before he moved into the White House, he was one of the most powerful businessmen in the world, and still is. He has no problem showing off his wealth with expensive purchases, like a luxurious 757 that has him flying the skies in style. Here are 10 mind-blowing facts about President Trump's plane. As we roll out the plane and get ready for takeoff, stay tuned for a quiz. Be sure to answer carefully because your answer could get you famous on The Richest. The answer with the most upvotes will get a shout out as well as be pinned to the top. Whether you're rich or poor, satisfied with life or yearn for something more, show us some love by clicking on that red subscribe button. Take a snooze. Sleeping on a plane is tough enough as it is, especially if you're in coach. The seats are small, there's not a lot of legroom, and the seats don't recline all that low. Plus, you have to deal with other passengers and hope you don't have a baby crying or someone who wants to chat the entire flight. Even if you try to avoid sleeping, if a flight is long enough, then it's a guarantee that you're going to doze off at some point. Maybe that's one of the reasons why Trump decided to add a certain special feature to his plane. When it became known that Trump would be using his own plane instead of Air Force One, people became skeptical. But when you compare the amenities in Air Force One to Trump Force One, there are some amazing differences. For example, Trump Force One, which is a 757-200 aircraft, sports two bedrooms. When President Trump purchased the plane in 2011, he was eyeing more luxury items for himself rather than having presidential perspectives. That means that he wants to ride not only in style but in comfort as well. Even the most expensive first-class ticket on a commercial airline won't give you a really nice bedroom, let alone two. Sure, you can have a mini cabin to yourself, but President Trump truly wants to fly in the most luxurious way. The bedroom that is designated for President Trump had wood paneling and silk pillows that bear the family crest. Glittering Gold if you really want to show off your wealth, then you adorn your plane with one of the most valuable metals in the world, gold. Yes, President Trump has adorned his aircraft with gold. Getting a gold ring is expensive enough, so think about how much it would cost to incorporate the metal into an aircraft. Even the seatbelt buckles are plated in gold, as well as other accessories and manufacturing features like the walls, tables, armrests, etc. We previously talked about the president's master bedroom and the walls are lined with gold silk. With all of that gold that is inside the plane, one has to wonder if the golden features go into the bathroom as well. But we'll go more into that later. But to give you a preview, the sink faucet and handles are also plated in 24 karat gold. With all of this gold inside of the plane, it's an amazing demonstration of President Trump's wealth. It also speaks volumes on his desire to enjoy the money he has made. When President Trump has guests on his plane, they are probably impressed by all of the gold. If the president has hosted foreign leaders and diplomats on any aircraft, he probably chooses Trump Force One if he wants to make a good impression and demonstrate his power and influence. This plane is the perfect example of President Trump having a Midas touch on everything that he works with, and that is something that has a great appeal to the voters who supported him. Bathroom Time For anyone who has used an airplane bathroom, they know that it is one of the most cramped spaces ever. In fact, your mother's womb was probably roomier. But when movies show these spacious bathrooms, it's mind-boggling to think of how unrealistic this perception is. Think about it. You can't fit more than one person in there, and yet Hollywood seems to think a couple can fit in there so they can do some business. But President Trump doesn't have any issues like that. In fact, he has a spacious and luxurious master bathroom on Trump Force One. As mentioned before, the sink is plated with gold, but there's also a nice spacious shower. Not only that, but there are gold-plated towel racks holding some of the softest and most expensive linens that you've ever touched. President Trump surely spared no expense to make his flying experience as comfortable as possible. It seems that Trump Force One is nicer than the lifestyle of even rich people, let alone the normal people. Not to mention, the bathroom has gorgeous marbling inside. There isn't a detail that has been overlooked, and we bet that when President Trump has to take a shower, it probably feels like he's showering at home. Or, just as we gawk at a motel bathroom and think about how much nicer our bathroom is at home, could President Trump have that same struggle? It is perplexing to see how the other half lives, isn't it? Rolls-Royce 
Ever wanted to go on a joyride? Or maybe even channel your inner Vin Diesel and go racing on public roads? Do you have a need for speed while looking like you have lots of cash? Then maybe you should ask the president to see if you can fly in Trump Force One. When President Trump purchased the Boeing 757-200, he was keen on one very specific detail. The engines needed to be made by Rolls-Royce. The luxury manufacturing company is known for making some of the most expensive cars and auto parts in the world. Since we know that President Trump is all about showing off his wealth, then having Rolls-Royce supply the power to his plane was the obvious choice. Trump Force One is powered by a pair of Rolls-Royce RB211 turbofan engines. But there is a downside to this. Trump Force One isn't the most fuel-efficient aircraft on the market. However, according to pilots that have flown the plane, it runs like a hot rod and can reach speeds of up to or more than 500 miles per hour. Can you imagine flying Trump Force One and feeling like you're on some sort of a joyride? That is probably what these pilots are feeling like. Plus, it seems that President Trump can get to places much faster than the average person since he wouldn't have to deal with connecting flights and he has a plane that's faster than most commercial airlines. This is all but another bullet point added to the list of President Trump's display play of wealth. Business dealings galore. When President Trump made the decision to buy the plane in 2011, he didn't just go to any company to make his purchase. According to records, President Trump owns the company that made Trump Force One, formerly known as T-Bird. Tag Air Incorporated was the company that made the 757, and President Trump is the chairman of the board, director, and president of the company. The Washington-based corporation was once owned by Microsoft billionaire Paul Allen, who then sold the company to President Trump for about $100 million. Sound familiar? It seems that the president might have gotten a great deal on the plane since he owned the company. And that was how he was able to add so many features and bling up the inside of the aircraft. Did you know that President Trump actually owns a small fleet of aircraft? While it may not be all that surprising, he does only own one 757, and that is T-Bird. The 757-200 is truly his pride and joy, and he held nothing back during the election campaign when he was traveling to different locations for rallies and public appearances. The plane is actually nearly 26 years old, and President Trump paid for all of the upgrades. Even though the plane may be a bit older, it is still impressive looking and is one of the finest jets in the airline industry. Trump Force One is the eighth most expensive plane in the world, so when you think about it in comparison to the other luxury planes out there, it's a pretty high honor. Now that you've seen what money can buy, get ready for your quiz question. Taking a lesson from President Trump, if money was no issue and you could buy and restore anything in the world, what would it be? Tell us your answer in the comments. The answer that is the most clever with the most upvotes will be pinned to the top as well as get a special shout out from the richest. Taking up space. One of the biggest complaints about flying is that there isn't enough space to do anything, and yet airlines are continuously trying to find ways to cram more people into an airplane while adding in paid features like extra legroom and comfort sections. You would think that the airlines are trying to make flying, an already expensive purchase, even more miserable so that you'll be willing to pay more just to be comfortable. The Boeing 757-200 has enough room to seat 239 passengers on a typical commercial airplane, which is crazy when you think about how that many people can be crammed into that small of a space. Trump Force One can only seat about 43 people. In comparison, that is not a lot. But the plane is able to nearly fit in President Trump's entire family, like his wife, kids, and grandchildren, plus some staff to help make the flying experience much more relaxing. When you have a private jet, you can almost do anything you want, and President Trump was not interested in the ability to carry more people. He was more than willing to sacrifice space in order to get the features he wanted. How else would you be able to fit in two bedrooms and a master bathroom in an airplane? Even the largest Boeing aircrafts are not the roomiest places in the world, but President Trump wanted to make sure that he had the luxuries and capabilities from his lifestyle available even at thousands of feet in the sky. Entertain me. 
When you're flying, you are sitting in one spot for a long duration of time. How do you pass the time, or let alone make it go faster? You read, listen to music, or watch television. Even if you have the best of the best with entertainment with the latest movies, it is still not necessarily an enjoyable experience because you're cramped inside those airplane seats and you have to share the armrest. That is, if your seat buddy is that considerate. Even in first class, while the space may be roomier, the entertainment on board the aircraft may still be subpar, especially if you're not in the mood for anything recent and you would prefer to watch something older. For President Trump, he wanted to make sure he could enjoy his entertainment in a way that he could stretch his legs. Trump Force One features a lounge with a 57-inch TV with a sound system that tops any movie theater sound system. Trump Force One's entertainment system features DVD direct storage of over 1,000 movies as well as over 2,500 different music CDs. No matter what you're in the mood for, President Trump can provide. That is such an upgrade compared to an airline entertainment system today where you can only pick from a small selection of movies or music. President Trump spared no expense when it came to his entertainment system and he made sure to include a TV in his master bedroom as well so he can watch his programs from the comfort of his bed. VIP if you go anywhere in the world, being a VIP is a big deal, and it shows that you're someone important. VIP gives you access to things that aren't available to other people, and if you have ever been VIP for anything, then you can probably relate to the feeling of being more important than everyone else. You might even feel like royalty, but could you imagine feeling average while flying with President Trump? Flying on Trump Force One may already make you feel like a VIP, but even so, President Trump made sure to include an area that is even off limits to his regular guests. So there is an elite club, even amongst the elite, which is crazy to think about. The plane has a VIP area that seems to only fit about four to six people and still features the luxury seats with the gold-plated accessories and paneling. There's also a sofa on the side as well, and it is probably the place where President Trump has sealed a good amount of business dealings. The VIP area is located right down the hall from the cockpit, and it could be the first thing President Trump's passengers see when they board the aircraft. When investors, business partners, politicians, and world leaders step inside Trump Force One, they can sit in some of the most comfortable and luxurious seats made from the finest leather, which might influence their decision on whether or not to go with President Trump's direction and ideas. Glass Cockpit one of the most well-known and popular features of Trump Force One is that it has a glass cockpit. If you're thinking that it's a cockpit made of glass, it's a bit more complex than that. Glass cockpits are one of the best things for pilots because they have large computerized screens. These screens display important flight information as well as the ability to alert the pilots about issues before they become life-threatening emergencies. So not only is Trump Force One a hot rod experience for pilots, they also get to use some of the best technology in the airline industry. Industry. Eventually, the glass cockpit will become standard for all planes in the future. Once that happens, we're pretty sure that President Trump will find another way to be a step ahead from the rest of us. Because the airline industry is ever growing and changing, there will always be something new coming out. And President Trump will make sure that he's the first to get the latest and greatest technology because he has the cash to burn as well as invest in. Because after all, President Trump got his wealth because he's a businessman. And if he sees something that he's sure will take off on the market, he is willing to open in his wallet to make that product happen. Plus, it will give him the perks of having access to that technology before the rest of the world, which probably makes him feel successful and smart for the wise business decision. Better than Air Force One? While President Trump already has an impressive plane in his possession, many have wondered if it's actually better than Air Force One. When President Trump announced that he preferred to use his own plane over Air Force One, it created a stir in politics because it was a practice that was genuinely unheard of, especially since the taxpayers pay for the use of Air Force One and making sure the president can travel safely and comfortably. President Trump's plane does have a wingspan of about 38 meters, while Air Force One's wingspan is 59 meters. Also, Air Force One has a conference room for those important business dealings 
hangs and meetings with other politicians and world leaders. Plus, the plane has a medical ward to help keep the president in the best health possible. Speaking of health, Air Force One also features a gym so the president can fit in a workout. But President Trump feels as though his plane is far superior. Air Force One does fit around 102 people, over double the number of Trump Force One. But one of the most important differences is that Air Force One is equipped to handle different kinds of security protocol that will protect the president in whatever way possible. Granted, President Trump can certainly afford to make the same safety upgrades, so it could be possible the planes used for Air Force One could get a bit of a break for the next four years. Only time will tell. Taking a page out of President Trump's playbook, if money was no issue and you could buy and restore anything, what would it be? Be sure to answer in the comments and vote for your favorite answer as well. The winner will be determined by cleverness and the most upvotes and will get pinned to the top as well as get a shout out from the richest. Finally, tell us what you think. Give this video a like and make your voices heard by subscribing to our channel. If you're feeling inspired by the wealth and luxury of President Trump, then check out our other videos for more inspiration. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.